In this video, we're going to look at what we mean by the term compound sentence. So what is a compound sentence? Let's start by looking at two sentences, one of which is a compound sentence, one of which isn't. This first one is not a compound sentence. What I'd like you to look at is the word but, and notice how there isn't a comma before the word but. This second one is a compound sentence. Notice that there is a comma before the word but. Both are correct, and at the end we'll have another look at these and you'll understand why one has a comma and one doesn't. Compound sentence has at least two independent clauses. Now an independent clause is one that can stand alone as a sentence. The independent clauses in a compound sentence are joined using one of the following methods. A conjunction with a comma, and that's words like for, and, nor, but, or, yet, and so, and the mnemonic fanboys will help you remember those. A semicolon, or a colon, that's quite rare, or a dash, or a conjunction with a semicolon, and that's also rare. Let's dissect a very simple compound sentence. Lee loves cakes and he adores pies. Lee loves cakes. That's an independent clause. It could be a sentence. He adores pies. That's also an independent clause. Again, it could be a standalone sentence. So let's take these two sentences and join them together to make a compound sentence. In this example, the two independent clauses are joined with a conjunction and a comma. Let's look at a slightly more complicated example. Stealing ideas from one person is plagiarism. That could be a sentence. Stealing from many is research. That could also be a sentence. So they're independent clauses. Notice the conjunction with a comma. So let's go through the different ways that the independent clauses in a compound sentence can be joined. Here's the method we've covered already, the conjunction and a comma. There's a slightly more complicated example. Only two things are finite, the universe and human stupidity. That could be a sentence. And I'm not sure about the former. That could also be a sentence. So what we have there is a compound sentence the independent clauses of which are joined with a conjunction and a comma. You can also join the independent clauses with a semicolon. Cannibals don't eat clowns, they taste funny. We've got a lesson on when to use semicolons. You can also use a colon. There's one good thing about egotists, they don't talk about other people. Again, both halves of this could be standalone sentences. You can also use a dash. Dashes are normally replacements for semicolons or colons. Again, two independent clauses. Don't steal. The government hates competition, both of which could be sentences. And then we've got the very rare one, a conjunction with a semicolon. Mark, Dawn and Sally adore boiled spare ribs, but Julia, a staunch vegetarian, leaves the room when they are on the menu. So if you look at the first sentence here, you can see that it's got two commas in. And if you look at the second sentence, you can see that's also got two commas in. Because each of these independent clauses has its own commas, a semicolon is used before the conjunction to outrank them. This is quite a rare convention, but just be aware it exists. Let's go back to our two examples. I like sweet things, but prefer savoury dishes. I like sweet things, but I prefer savoury dishes. So if you look at the second one, you can see that it's made up of two independent clauses. I like sweet things. I prefer savoury dishes. Both of those could be standalone sentences. That's why the conjunction has a comma before it. But if you look at the top one, 
prefer savory dishes is not a standalone sentence. That is a simple sentence, not a compound sentence. So, quick summary. A compound sentence has at least two independent clauses, joined together by one of the following methods, a conjunction with a comma, that's really common, semicolon, fairly common, colon, quite rare, dash, quite rare, conjunction with a semicolon, very rare. That's all. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out some of our other videos, tests and lessons on GrammarMonster.com. We're also on Twitter and Facebook.